What's up guys and welcome back to Epic Journey Through the Bible. My name is Jacob Cerns and my question for you today is, are you celebrating correctly? We're looking at Luke chapter 10 once again. We're looking at the story of the disciples and the 70. As they come back, they're reporting to Jesus. They're super excited. They say, Jesus, even the demons believe, they listen to us and they obey us. And when we tell them to get out and leave people alone, they do it. They get out and they leave the people alone. And they're so excited to share this with Jesus. And I think I would be too, right? If you had the ability to cast out demons, you'd be excited to share that. And so the disciples are caught up in this joy, this excitement, this probably this adrenaline rush coursing through their veins as they realize that there is real awesome power in the name of Jesus and that they have ability to even use that power to be a major blessing in the lives of others. They're excited about it. They're super pumped up. Jesus responds by telling them he saw Satan fall like lightning out of heaven. Kind of gives them a little bit more of the big picture in terms of the great controversy between good and evil that's going on. And then Jesus says something very interesting. He says, don't even rejoice that you have power over demons. Why not? Why not rejoice over that? It's really cool, right? It's really exciting. But he says, rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Does that mean that it's possible that even being a huge, amazing, wonderful blessing to others doesn't necessarily guarantee us salvation? Is that the message Jesus is making here? Because I believe it is. I believe that he's saying, look, just because you're a really good person, you do all these awesome things, and even casting out demons and helping people, being a blessing to others. The disciples had gone through, they had healed all kinds of diseases that people were experiencing. They'd done all kinds of awesome things. Jesus says, look, that's not really why you should be celebrating. First and foremost, you should celebrate because your names are written in heaven, meaning you have salvation. That should be your cause for celebration. I think it's a little bit like this. We can sometimes get so excited about how God is using us to bless others that we forget to put ourselves in the same category as others. We kind of start to think of ourselves as maybe being somebody pretty special, somebody kind of high up there and important. And Jesus wants to remind us that, look, just like those people need a savior, you need a savior. In your life, when you're a blessing to others, when you're doing good things for others, don't let that get to your head. Don't let that get so exciting for you that you forget the real reason for your joy, the real reason for your excitement should be, Jesus saved you. Jesus saved me. You are a filthy, dirty, rotten sinner just like everybody else, in desperate need of a savior just like everybody else. I am no better than you. You are no better than me. We are all in desperate need of Jesus. So when we celebrate, let's celebrate the fact that Jesus died for us. Jesus died to give us salvation and no one and nothing can take that away from us. That's our reason for celebration. Any blessings we get to give to others, icing on the cake, praise God. Guys, thank you for watching this video. Push that thumbs up button if you like it. You can subscribe over here, watch another video over here. Peace, love, and the joy of the Lord.